Hey gorgeous soul, this is it baby. This is a month of turning point. This is a month of transition. Our lives will never be the same again as finally Pluto leaves Capricorn once and for all, well, for a good 200 years, and we are free of a cycle that we have been in since 2008. Liberation and transformation is on its way. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey Leo Leo, now on the 4th of November, Mars, the planet of action, the planet of passion is going into your sign temporarily, but it gives you a taster of what's going to happen for you and where you need to focus your energy because it goes back in in April of next year, I believe. So you are having this moment of clarity, moment of vision, a really sharp sense of uh, passion for life and passion for what you want to experience and where you want to put your energy. Please make the most of that. It's going to retrograde next month and re-enter your 12th, which is all about spirituality, meditation, not really feeling like you've got the drive. So you've got this temporary reprieve. So, so you know, get on with it and push for what you want because then you'll be following your intuition rather than action. Anyway, of course, the most important thing that we are talking about this month is the era-defining change of Paloto, the Lord of Transformation, which is saying bye-bye um, to a part of your life, which maybe it's been hard work since 2008. You, it's been all about, like, work and committing to other people all about your health and well-being all about your daily habits and your routines and there may have been a lot of things shaken up around those areas and you may have felt at certain points quite isolated or, or had to face something to do with your work your health your you know isolation in some way you're feeling that you're the one that's always sort of there to support other people when you, you know you've done it you do it joyfully but you know, the lessons have been around those topics and it's been full on. And now that is changing. You know, you're coming out of a cycle since 2008. And the next one is going to utterly transform your relationships, your love relationships, your business partnerships, but basically your relationship to love and what it means to you. And Pluto is about liberation, life, death or rebirth with the focus on the rebirth. You know, you're a phoenix now and you're going to be a phoenix again, and you've completed that journey, and it, it's a new era with, with new experiences and lessons to come. So, you know, it will be a big relief for you, because I can imagine it was quite challenging one way or the other. Now, I always recommend also just go and see where your Pluto is and how what house that was in relation to Capricorn to see what other elements were at play and will be at play for the next chapter not even a chapter, a whole book. So yeah, there's a lot going on. Now this month, you're very focused from the new moon. Oh, make sure you intensely put out a manif to manifest something around your home and family because there is a lot of positive manifesting vibes there. And if you have any relatives that you were close to that are no longer with us, have a little chat with them because as we know, the veil is thin and say, you know what? You know, say whatever you want, tell them you love them, discuss your relationship, but then also say, do me a favour, could you bring me a little bit of a transformation or a gift connected to my home? And I am sure it will be delivered because we have Mercury trying Neptune, we have the new moon in Scorpio trying Saturn. You know, you feeling more secure around your home and family is, you know, the message of this month and there's a lot of positive around that. Now, on the second, Mercury enters Sagittarius which is fabulous for you. It makes you jolly. It makes you excitable. It makes you optimistic and it makes you think, yeah, I am ready to enjoy myself and you have like good vibes around you. So there is so much positive energy, particularly when Mars enters your sign as well. 
And um, yes, Mercury Retro Shadow begins in Sagittarius, but let's not worry about that yet. Let's worry about that next month. Venus is going into Capricorn and hopefully giving you a gift and a reward for whatever you went through since 2008 or whatever the pivotal life transforming moment was for you. And I really like the fact that, that Venus is in, in Capricorn right before uh, Pluto leaves. It feels like a big warm hug and a thank you and a like well done and a pat on the back. So, you know, do that for yourself as well as letting Venus hand down those vibes to you. Saturn is going direct, so you're coming into your power. You may have been thinking about situations in your past that you were committed to, but you felt were like quite heavy. And now you're like, rah, I'm in my power, I'm committed to myself, and I'm facing things in a new way, and I'm like, you know, standing strong, facing my fears, and off we go. The full moon in Taurus is joining forces with Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable. And for you, it's around your career and you may be, oh, now if you're not working, it means where you're putting your juice in life, where you're putting your energy, what your focus is for whatever you're doing in your life, at whatever. If you're 102, it's, you know, what is it that you're focusing on that you're putting out there? So you have this opportunity coming to you one way or the other, like a surprise with this full moon. Focus on it being fabulous. Um, Pluto obviously shifts on the 19th there will be a sigh of relief and you're feeling quite jolly because the sun also enters Sagittarius on the 21st, which is one of the happiest times for you when the sun is in Sagittarius. And it's also trying Mars in your sign. So jolliness, happiness, potential, creativity, maybe a little bit of lust and love as well. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you so much for the love you've given me regarding the Nightweight Tarot. If you haven't got it yet, it contains all of my love and passion that I've had for tarot since I was a small child. And the book gives you an easy way to not only work with tarot easily and quickly, but also to manifest. You can get it from the dreaded Amazon or all good bookstores. So thank you once again.